here we are. Welcome to Ark. I've got some things to take care of here. So let's meet at the market once you're ready to meet Grandmaster Teolor Orenthiel and his mages in person, alright? Right. I thought he was imprisoned in Nerim. By his own son, Nerazul, yeah. But roughly two and a half years ago, he suddenly appeared back in Enderol, accompanied by a handful of mages who once fought against him in the Great War. Weird, I know, but that's how it was. It is weird. So let, let me get this straight. Uh, the Lightborn's most trusted servant now. Returned to Anduril together with his former arch, arch enemy. <laughs> he did, yeah. It seems that something happened between him and them that made them sort out their issues, you could say. They're allies now, and frankly, nobody quite knows why. You can imagine what kind of uproar that caused among the Holy Order itself. But in the end, Renthiel got things his way. You can say what you want about him, but he never lost his charisma, that's for sure. So that means uh, the Lightborn's most vicious enemies now work together with the Lightborn's most faithful servants. That's bizarre. You're telling me. But apparently their alliance has something to do with this red madness. Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens. Could you tell me a little more about this city? Oh, sure, I should have thought of that. Pardon me. All right then, Ark is divided into five districts, not counting the harbor. The foreign quarter, where we are right now, the marketplace, the nobles' quarters, the south quarter, and the temple. If you're looking to gear up, I guess the market would be the place to go. You can All find right. anything there, from food to weapons, armor, and whatever else you need. If it's magical supplies and alchemy you need, however, you best try your luck in the nobles' quarters. But prepare yourself for some dismissive looks. But there's also the bathing house and the theater, in case you have the coin for that. Finally, the there's the temple, which is hard to overlook. Normal citizens are not permitted to enter it. Hmm. And from up there, the Holy Order reigns over this country. But if all goes according to plan, you'll soon see it from the inside. A theocracy. And then there's the Undercity. Undercity. That does sound very inviting, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. And it isn't. The Undercity is a cluster of caves directly beneath our feet. And down there is where the poor and the sick live. Not to mention those that the Order doesn't like to see in their neat, pretty streets in the Upper City. Not a place I'd recommend you visit. At least not unless you're looking for mischievous things. I am looking for mischievous things. Great. Then see you later and enjoy your stay. Thanks, Jasper. See you later at the market. 640p. Gerald's memorial book removed. All right, we're in the city. Exciting. Um, I think we do have a more detailed map of the city as well, right? Down here. There doesn't ca seem to come in GPS with it, though. We're in the foreign quarter, I think. Yeah, upper left. Well, let's look around. Within Ark, you may also use the signposts to travel back and forth between different, distri different districts. To do so, just walk in front of the signpost. My dame, do you have a moment? I think the two of us could do business together. Alright. Well, it is actually quite simple. But since you were kind enough not to just ignore me and walk by as the others did, I would like to show my gratitude for that first. You travel a lot, don't you? I can tell by the mud on your boots. Here, one of these books might come in handy on your journeys. Which one do you prefer? Crafting book alchemy. Handicraft, enchanting. What are these books? They are, uh, uh, crafting books. All I suppose right. you can call them that. They contain some valuable knowledge about the arts such as smithing, alchemy, or even lockpicking. Not that I would ever imply you do such a thing, except in an old ruin, but you get the picture. They are, uh, uh, crafting books. I suppose you can call them that. They contain some valuable knowledge about the arts, such as smithing, alchemy, or even lockpicking. Just gotta ban some bots. Not that I would 
ever imply you do such a thing except in an old ruin, but you get the picture. All right. Um, well, I can't ask about why why he's giving it away for free anymore. I don't want any of those really. I mean, the one probably handicraft, right? It's the one I'm most likely gonna go for. I mean, also alchemy, maybe. Let's do handicraft. Say, would you happen to be interested in earning yourself some more coins, or even better? More books like those? There is something I need help with. Ah, this seems like a scam, right? What's troubling you? I have a problem. And this problem is called Celia, which happens to be my sister. Hmm. Where should I start? You know, I am one of those people who wasn't given everything by fate. Quite the contrary, in fact. When I was a child, the village I grew up in, Foamville, was ambushed by bandits. And both my father and my mother died during the attack. Thank you, but it's ancient history now. Okay. Fact is, my sister and I dealt with this event differently. We managed to flee the attack and make it to Ark, where the guards, of course, threw us into the Undercity. But while I tried to honor my father's heritage by using the little I could from our savings by setting up a business, she preferred to wallow in her misery instead. She got to know the wrong people and has, since then, never done a single bit of honest work. Sounds like my Frankly, kind of person. she's a dust addict. Day and night, she does nothing else but rot in those drinking holes in the Undercity and blows what little money she makes on her drage. Now, of course, she is still my sister. So all of these years, I paid her rent so she doesn't have to sleep on the streets. However... Things have changed. Recently, she started using our father's heritage to pay for her addiction. And I will not accept that. Mmm... Uh, what do you mean, she's a dust addict, I'm an outlander? Of course, you wouldn't know that. Glimmer cap dust, the ah. blue bliss, or however you want to call it. It's a drage. A dangerous one. Apparently, it makes you feel as if you're walking the eternal paths. But it also kills you quicker than the sunfire. So you, she blows your money to buy Droge. Well, technically it's our money. Basically, it was a share our father had in a small business here. He was so proud of it, you wouldn't believe it. Luckily enough, I managed to save that paper from the bandits and turned it in at the bank a few years ago. After I realized how valuable it was. Since then, it has turned into quite a formidable sum. Nothing huge, of course, but enough to save my business from bankruptcy. Okay. You understand? In theory, it is our money, but without me, she would probably have sold it for a bottle of ale. And I won't let her spit on our father's heritage that way. I mean, I want to see, or rather, I want to hear her story about this as well. I hope we get to hear it. Can't you talk to the guard about this? I certainly could, but the day a guard voluntarily goes into the Undercity is the day a Vatya will become a barber. The Undercity belongs to Relata, and Celia knows that, which is why my hands are tied. Who's Relata? Why don't you just talk to her? <laughs> oh, believe me, I did. Which is why she simply hid the key to our safe in the bank somewhere that I couldn't find it. Ooh. So, long story short, <laughs> this is where you come in. I want you to get her to give me that key. Hmm. How you do it is up to you. But if you succeed, it won't be to your disadvantage. I mean, I don't know this mod uh, well enough by now. But I would assume this story is a bit more complex than he would let on, right? I bet she has a, an entirely different take, and maybe it's something like, I don't know, he's built this business, but he's doing it using very shady and unethical business practices, and I don't want that anymore. I'd rather, I don't know, do something else with the money or whatever. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what she says when we meet her. Uh, where can I find her, though? Anywhere there's rats and dust. Oh, but God. she spends most of her time in the false dog in the Undercity. One of those dumps I told you about. Just come back to me once you've found something. Okay. 
What? Oh, yes, sure. What do you need? Let's have a look at this inventory. Also, as you might have noticed, uh, I have one mod installed now, uh, which gives the menus this nice little paper look. And I'm so excited that this works now and exists. Uh, yeah. it's, it exists for Skyrim SE also. But it works with Enduril as well. And it's something I've wanted since the beginning of Skyrim's life cycle, basically. Um, because I really wasn't happy with the ugly, transparent menus look that doesn't really fit with the fantasy scenario, I think. So this is much better. In Enduril, they're using um, a more beautiful paper map already, of course, but uh, the menus were still the old transparent look, and this fixes that. And it looks so much better, especially in combination with Sky UI, of course. Also, the font's a bit different. I think things are way more readable now. Um, let's see what he sells. Anything interesting? A couple of blueprints. I don't know if I want to go into crafting. I do have 170 pennies only. I could sell him a bit. Wait, how's my learning points, crafting points? I have five crafting points. Maybe I can buy rhetoric books. And my rhetoric is at 33, so I need to buy adept what? rhetoric oh, books, I yes, believe. Sure. Right? What do you need? Crafting book, Rhetoric Adapt. Uh, he only has four, but that's that's all right. I'll buy the four and use them first, of course. I think he. Uh, um, I always forget where the crafting books are. Let's just do all and search this way. This is another brilliant feature of the Sky UI mod that you can just filter on a text-based system here. So rhetoric to 37. And now the real trades what? can begin. Oh, yes, sure. What do you need? Um Let's do sort by value. I don't think I want to sell the Iron Sword of Flames. Yeah, I'm going to sell that, I think. Also, the Dagger of Despair, I think. Defense Rope. Meh. Magic Regeneration. Nah, we're good. Silver Ingot. Um, oh, I should eat, eat the Ice Claws to increase my carry weight. can go it's a lock nah heavy armor um, oh marksman I'll keep that oh up to skill level 25 I can't actually use that anymore one-handed uh, not for now maybe sneak though corundum ore honey mead fire salts I'll sell these for now, they're pretty valuable. And I think money is more important at the moment. Life potions are always good to have. Sell the spell terms for now. I have more than one of a book, and I can sell them too. Protection from frost and shock. Okay, he's running out of pennies. 
But he also has... Marksman. Uh, but just one. Oh. Yeah, I should probably see another... Oh no, there! Why are they different? Marksman Adept? Oh, it's Adept and Apprentice, I see. Yeah, Apprentice is not enough for me anymore. Anything else? I think that should be it. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Also, my quest menu is in this look now, which is very cool. We just borrowed the marketplace. Jaspan Elveric and I safely reached Ark, the jewel of the heartland and the biggest city on Andero. We should meet him at the marketplace when I'm ready for having my fe fever examined by his employers. I mean, I'm thinking whether it's a good idea to just do this early and get it over with because it's gonna give us new things to do with our character. The traveling salesman Milbert asked for my help after he gave me a learning book free of charge. Apparently his sister Cilia hid the key to the vault in which, which the heritage of the foxhands is. According to Milbert's stories, Cilia is a failed existence who is spending her money only for glimmer cat dust. A dangerous droga. Milbert wants to meet wants me to meet Cilia in the outer city so that I can get the key from her. I managed to do so is entirely up to myself. Naldolf has to die. Where's Naldolf at, at actually? I have to meet him at. Wait, what? Is he not? Doesn't he have a marker? Because I don't see any quest marker. Or are quest markers. No, they're not deactivated. Okay. Probably because I need to wait until midnight or something. Let's explore a little further. Why not? That was just the first NPC right out of the, right out of the gate. Ooh, what's this? This is not stealing? Okay. I'll take the arrows. For sure. Yes. Right, South Quarter, Undercity, Marketplace, Sun Temple, Novels Quarter, Harbor. I'm in the Foreign Quarter now, right? I'm liking the track. Just a nice little guitar. Strumming along. Um, Barak? Ob thanks, Obama. Um, Barak's quarter, I, suppose, I think that's supposed to mean. But there's a couple of, like, typos here and there, but so far, very little in the way of bugs or anything like that in this mod. Super impressive. Um, also barracks quarter, Sp especially considering how much text there is, right? I mean, there's they wrote entire books for this Madame? as well. Uh, there's probably less books in this than there is in Skyrim, but <laughs> Skyrim's hard to beat in that regard. Do I want to go into the gatehouse? Why not? Let's see what's in here. Walk blessed. Huh. Try the golden sickle. They're always looking for day tallers and they offer honest path abiding work. Alright. So path abiding is basically acting in a way that uh, doesn't come into conflict with the prevailing system of power, or rather the case <laughs> system they have here, huh? Also, why am I being attacked? I guess I'm not supposed to be in here. What? Okay, I'm gonna unlock this then. I suppose it's fine if I leave right away.
Like, I've had this before in this game where they're not even like, leave now. They just attack you straight up. And it doesn't even say like, do not enter. Or anything. Oh wow. Those are some pretty high res posters. Oh, front quarter. Let's look at these. That's like a very weird observation that I've made in quite a few RPGs or games that are very high quality and AAA and often have amazing graphics is that despite all that, like graphics within the world or posters or anything like that are super low res. I recently had that in Cyberpunk where I was like, this, g this game looks incredible. It's one of the more beautiful games I've played. And then you like just walk down the street and you see a poster and it literally has like three pixels. And uh, this is how it should be, right? Why is not every game like this? It's not impossible to implement. Aka, like actually have beautiful and high-res posters. What's so hard about that? Or pictures or art in game. I don't know. Arca Doppelbock. I love it. Embrace your inner child with Tarhuti. Every night, channel... Wait, Tarhuti is... Oh, that's the, the, the woman from... Riverville, right? The red-haired one that we brought back. We brought back her beauty potion. Every night, channel your inner child, I suppose, at the new age of the new age by cosmic dancers. Dancers or something. Of the Honey River. Father Tor Torrental recites the holy path. Once magic runneth through your ve veins, be wary not to go astray. The order help you shall then seek and Malthus words you need to heed else your magic will become wild and death will soon make you its child that meter didn't work anyhow true women fight for freedom peace and the righteous path women of Enderil join the city guard noble citizens of Ark walk blessed Desire as the ambrosial smells of our unrivaled fresh oh, and Can you bread. stop screaming? But you there, you look as if you could do with a fine loaf of our unrivaled fresh and tasty bread. I can see it in your eyes. But you have the most annoying voice I've ever heard. <laughs> what is it that makes your bread so unrivaled, fresh, and tasty? Well, it is fresh and it is tasty. What are you getting at? All right. Certainly, a pleasure for the young and the old, for the tall and the small. See for yourself. Cake, cream pie, date cake. Oh. Crusty bread. Sugar braid. Goat milk, honey nut bun. Lovely. Sublime bread, oh. Satiates for 420 seconds, nice. And provides a long dated health regeneration out of combat. Nice. I'm not gonna buy that right now. Can I climb this? Nah. What time is it, by the way? It's like 1 p.m. Oi, stop ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. Bloody flood your eyes on me, woman. <laughs> I, uh, you, you think I haven't noticed, don't you? You, you say sorry at once, so I'll, uh, I'll smack your mouth. Your woman? Who is she? <laughs> oh, that you'd like to know, huh? So you can, you can deuce her, me Bernadette. Don't bloody think I'm stupid. You're on the wrong track, pal. I'm not interested in woman. Am I not? I don't th know if we've even established that about our character. Need a beating? <laughs> uh huh. Then you, you, you want to deduce me? Yeah, I want. I want to deduce you exactly. I, uh, of course. What else would you? Want? I knew it the moment I saw you. You, okay, then listen up, pal. I'm way above your league. 
I apologize. Know. Well, now, or you'll see me get real angry. Why, you, you think you can mock me? <laughs> All right. You'll regret this. Oh, God, we're going to fight now. Uh, no weapons, nobody dies. Who goes down, loses. All right. Ugh. I don't even know the tactics of this. Can I block at all? I think I'm gonna win like this. Oh, this is a pretty open exchange. No one's blocking. We're just bashing each other's heads in. Will you shut up now, you creep? Okay, uh, okay, uh, just leave me alone. Oh, damn bullies. Right. Okay, uh, I'm the bully. Okay, uh, I see. Just leave me alone. Oh, damn bullies. What else do we have here? Are you a donkey? I think. Who are you? Walk blessed. You surely get around a lot. Have you learned anything? That's a good question. Let me think. I'm not sure if this helps, but an innkeeper told me lately that because of the red madness, very few prospectors are bold enough to go to the shadow steel mines in the powder desert anymore. Is that so? If you have the smithing skills and want to find some precious ore, you should check one of the mines there. Okay. Check Advi it out. Ah, you know what? I kind of like you. I might. What do you need? Okay. May his light guide you. Move along. Teolora Renthial has returned after all these years. Oh, shit, boy. Malfoy, I'm going to go dance in front of a true chess set and work for a Killian. But I don't think she would like that. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is stay away from those olive skinned cutthroats. They lure you in with Damn. nice words and big Hello. Noises, Everyone's so racist here. It's incredible. A make you a slave for a lifetime. Adreyu Del Myth, lyrical outpours, I suppose, and other fluids. Wild poetry presented by the poet. Noon until night in the upper quarter. War on Yerim. War on Kile. Do we have an actual blacksmith here that we can talk to? Or just laborers? Isn't this nice? You guys are the worst. Hello. Tywin Summerfield. By my path, accountant of screws, hats, odds and ends, incorporated. Even though I doubt the two of us have common ground, so to speak. Why wouldn't he Doesn't have matter. common ground? Maybe I'm mistaken. What is screws, hats, odds and ends? You don't know this. Hmm. How can I explain? Um, we are an association of thinkers, highly gifted thinkers of Starling origin, to be precise. And screws, hats, odds and ends is our guild, to put it in worldly terms. Ah, and did I forget to mention that we are the number one supplier of the Holy Order in terms of metalware and Starling technology? Work? No. That is... Hmm... Maybe yes. You do get around quite a lot, don't you? You certainly look like it. Hmm. Fine then. I suppose it's worth a try. There is something in a person of your talents could come in handy. A grand scale assignment we recently took on. One of our customers ordered replications of several Pyrean artifacts. A most exquisite wish, of course, any of our people could fulfill. However, 
Our current problem is that we still need many of those artifacts' originals to work with. If you could recover those originals for us, you would be generously rewarded. That should be it. Here, these are some of the ruins that might be worthwhile visiting. Can you tell me more about that employer of yours? Why would someone want to replicate Praean artifacts? Sorry, but this is none of your concern. Alright, fine then. Splendid! Come back once you've found something. Until next time. Trails Maybe. of the past. I see, I see. Uh, what's here? Wait. All going to the same thing. I'm not sure I'm allowed in here. Let's leave. Before anyone attacks us. Hmm. Greetings. Hi. Migor. Hmm? You're right. And if I am, what is it to you? Listen, I know you mean well, but not now. Please, not now. You have a piece of Bread stuck to your hand there. Huh. Help. Who are you, Lorem Waterblade reincarnated? Maybe. Aye, maybe you could help me. But I think we both know what that really means. You want money. And Everyone if that wants so... money. It's all that keeps this bloody world moving. That bastard golfer proved it. Hmm. <sighs> I shouldn't talk like this to you. But still, please, just let me be. Just go. Learn the reason for Miga's iron fort bad temper. Search Golfer Iron Silverman's assortment of goods for things which could belong to Miga Ironfort. Why would we do that? What? What do you want? I don't get it. The locksmith Miga Ironfort seems to be burdened with something. While talking to him, he mentioned that a certain golfer has proven that money is all that counts for him in the end. Perhaps I should investigate what this monger did. All right. Metal working. Mm, cozy fireplace sounds. No one here. Oh, I see arrows. Steel, steel arrow. Clothes. Um, all right. Where are you fellas? Ahoy. Taiwan? You're Mormon? an outlander, aren't Ahoy. you? I can tell. Ooh, where does this lead? And this? Oh, to the gatehouse again. We're not allowed in the gatehouse. Um, potion parlor. For sure, let's have a look. What a beautiful day. All you'll ever need. But please, take a look. Wait, have we talked to him before? Apart from my wares, you mean? <laughs> well, jokes aside, no. Great At joke. At the moment, it's quiet Loved around it. here. I thank Malthus it is. You don't hear a lot of good things from the streets these days. Vatiers, brigands... This country has seen better times. Let me see what you All have. you'll ever need. But please, take a look. Mm. What am I looking for? Another crafting book for rhetoric, right? But he doesn't have those. Walk blessed. Same. Meh. Right, this probably leads to the gatehouse too then, huh? Or nowhere at all. 
Wait, how? How acrobatic am I here? Can I dance on the roofs? Is there some some items hidden? Maybe. I like these narrow, high houses. They remind me of the bits in Novigrad a bit. Very cool look. The, bis the bits is like the poor area um, below Gildorf, really, where Triss, Triss lives. My in, case, in case you remember. So, oh, this is the, the secure chest. Where's the manga we're supposed to talk with? What do we have here? Up a set of stairs. Guardhouse. Everything's the guardhouse here, it seems. Or a guardhouse, rather. Marketplace. 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 The dancing nomad. Treasure hunter wanted. Screw hats. Screw hats, odds and ends incorporated. Search, search as an able man or woman for an assignment based searching for old treasures. I think that's the one we already got, right? Good payment guarantee, provided that you do a fine job. If you're interested, please come and see us at the guild house. Gladly. dancing animations <laughs> super awkward I love it oh I love it I love that the different inns are so different in style and in makeup as well in Skyrim they're all kind of similar right the kind of music you get is different there's a singer in one and a troupe with instruments in another and HD art again I love it um, gambling table, yeah. Drunk Azalea. Oh, you get the moves, don't ya? Tavern customer. this and that why not take a look banana liquor may your path always be even wait a moment <coughs> you're an outlander aren't you yep what's up only if you know what to look for i'm one myself so i do Okay. Hazel, pleased to make your acquaintance. Tell me, if you're new in this city, are you perchance also looking for work? <coughs> Absolutely. Excuse me, what was I saying? I'm looking for a hand. Maybe. Where exactly are you from? You don't look that foreign to me. Well, neither do you. But to answer your question, I'm Arizali. But the third generation Alizali, so it doesn't show that much anymore. Apart from my name and my skin, there's little left of my roots, I'm afraid. Anyway, so what did you say? Interested in some well-paid, honest work? It's simple. I want you to find something for me. You know, I'm a healer, just like my father was, and my grandfather before that. When he came to this country, he did so because he had been hired by an Arca noblewoman, a bright lady who valued science and the arts of healing. 
In any case, my grandfather spent a large portion of life working for this lady in an old, abandoned fort near the now deserted village of Fogville. Together with a good dozen other Apokathari, he planned for my father to succeed him. Apokathari? But before he had the chance That's wrong, to, isn't it? the mushroom plague occurred. Apothecary? I thought. Or is it Apokathari and that's like an in-universe word that doesn't actually have to do anything with like the healing arts or whatever. But I have to look that up. Mushroom plague? You mean the plague that destroyed the Whisperwood? Yes, that one. Mm. The spores of those mushrooms have literally sucked all the life from the forest and its surroundings. Plus, they are a threat to everyone who comes close. I see. Did your grandfather's work have anything it to do with that? Likely, doesn't it? Both my father and I have asked my grandfather this question too, but he has always denied it. The plague was a magical phenomenon, a freak of nature, no more, no less. Those were his words. Hmm. However, I've made some troubling discoveries which have led me to doubt that. I believe the plague might have been fabricated. Fabricated? But why would anyone want to do that? Well, this is exactly what I want you to find out. Unfortunately, the noblewoman who my grandfather worked for has long been dead, and she was the last in their bloodline, so I couldn't find any answers there. But the old fortress where they worked still stands. Why is this so important to you? Isn't that obvious? Because I want to understand. You know, we Arzalines believe in the debt of blood. If my grandfather committed a crime, it is my responsibility to atone for it. Plus, I believe that if there was a way to, well, to cure that plague, okay, it I is get hidden that. within that fortress. Whatever harm the mushrooms can do, they can also reverse it. My father never cared much about all this, but I'm different. If there's one thing I want to achieve in my life, then it's... <coughs> then it's a small coffin Calamity. fit? Okay. Why don't you go see for yourself? Look at me. You will have the answer. True. I'm old and far from made for the road to begin with. Furthermore, all those undead who've been roaming the wilderness since that red madness began don't exactly make the idea more inviting. But don't worry. If you succeed, I'll make it worth your while. I hope you do. Fine then. I'll see what I can do. Where can I find this fortress? And what do you need me to look for? Isn't that obvious? Plus I... Oh, I picked the wrong choice. My father never cared much about reports, growls, samples of their work. Okay. Anything that could be of relevance. Just look around. Do you have a map? I do, yeah. Here, the fortress should be in this area. Best you take Myra to Fogville. In the village harbor, there was a hut where my grandfather lived when he was off duty. Chances are, you'll find a key to the fortress there. Good luck, and thank you. If you have found the material, you can find me in the Undercity, near the old waterworks. My laboratory is there. In the Undercity, hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just changed tables right now. Ooh, what's going on down here? In the, like, storage cellar, I thought. But there's some... Hello, handsome. Okay, I see what this... Now you're quite the sight. How about a little bit of fun? An outlander. You do have a custom already, though, I think. Nice. <laughs> it's interesting that there are, there are like quite little nook there behind the what blessed, madam? barrels huh? in the Just storage cellar. cellar. Hello. Hello. Hmm? Hello. Is it important? I think I've seen everything in this quarter then, right? I'll have a look at the map shortly.
We do have a couple of quests now. Yeah, it's not as if I didn't tell them that already. This was just the guardhouse, yeah, okay. Map. Local map. Um, I'm here. Guardhouse marketplace. Heartland. That's not where I came in, is it? Or maybe it is. Um, yeah, I was here. Einfold's metalworking. Rabbit's potion parlor. Rotang's Bakery, Dancing Nomad, Sewers, I haven't been to the sewers, but... Barracks Quarter, Gatehouse, 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 Also this, all of this is the Gatehouse, right? Guardhouse, Gatehouse, yeah, those are different, I see. Um, I think I've seen everything then. This is where I come in. I've come in, I'm pretty sure. Heartland there. That will probably pop me at the Myrid Tower. Oh the Myrids are the uh the fast travel dudes, right? So let's have a look at the Myrid Tower. I'm interested to see what they look like. I doubt they're as cool as silk striders, but why isn't stuff so expensive? Maybe they are. True women or oh, the city guard had, I see. How foolish it is for a question our life night and day. For us to question My our life night and day. Mirror tower. Oh, they are pretty cool. Some people just don't know. Four eyes. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? You are quite lovely. Hello. Hmm. Walk blessed. That's safe. I need a flight. Good to hear. Where to? How's this work? Oh! So I can go everywhere, even those that I haven't unlocked yet, or I don't need to unlock them, rather. For Doomville. Oh, and also, oh, like in well, the Warcraft, do we actually get to see the whole? No, maybe not. It's a loading screen. Yeah. Spell of detect life of the mentalist school is especially useful for. Okay, so that's very far. Four stars. Very far to the southeast. In the middle of the desert. Ooh, I don't want to spoil myself too much as to this landscape, but it looks very different again. Okay. Let's reload and go back. Good to know that this exists, though. at the top here. Just some food that I can't take. Okay, okay. This is where I came from. With Jasper earlier. Also, we haven't really slept all night, but we did get a little nap yes. um, yesterday afternoon and for like five hours from like two to seven or something so we can go on for a little longer but we'll probably have to call it early today and go to bed at 10 or Lock so Lock blessed madam Lock blessed madam okay work, so let's have work. a look at a couple of the quests we picked up um the dreary field in the dancing nomad a nomad a tavern in arc i met the arazalian apothecarius no it's apothecarius not a pot a pot 
Pocatharius or whatever he said. Balhas Zell, he told me about his famous grandfather, a distinguished apothecarius who researched a sort of panace panacea, how do you say that, panache? in the Whisper Woods by the order of a noble woman in Ark. Before said woods were polluted, Bal fears that the plague was, unlike, unlike most other people currently view it, not a natural disaster, but instead a failed experiment by the apothecarii who his grandfather belonged to. He wants me to search the old fortress for hints which could bring the truth to light. Three stars. That's way too hard for us. I don't know what exactly they correspond to. Also, I'm not entirely sure yet if monsters level with you in this. I hope not. I hope not. I vastly prefer games where enemies don't level with you at all. Um, but if they don't, then this has to respond to like, correspond to a certain level, like maybe level 30 plus, I don't know. So not for us yet. The Soul Place. The Locksmith. Yeah, okay. Let's do this maybe. These are also way too difficult. I mean, there's one with two stars. I met, an am I met a man called Tiwon in the Screw Hats Odds and Ends Incorporated. A, star a starling guild in Ark. After some back and forth, we started a conversation and he offered me some work. The guild is currently working on an important task to reconstruct old Pyrian artifacts. If I can get him the originals of these artifacts, we will reward me generously. Um, divide and conquer. Yeah, I wanted to have a look where those are exactly. There's one here. The most difficult one. Is that... Also, is this actually an area that we can visit? Because there's no, like, mirror towers at all in this region. It looks very, like, rugged and inhospitable and probably hard to get to. Um, four difficulty? Well, this is actually... Yeah, no, they are both four difficulty. But there was three in the quest description. Right there. Old Dolesh. Okay, in the Heartlands. It's the one that is maybe manageable quite soon for me. Traveling salesman Milbert asked for my help after he gave me a learning book free of charge. Oh, we have that, yeah. Now, Dolph. So let's see where we have to go for this. To the marketplace, it seems, or the undercity it was, right? And... How about this? Also marketplace. Gold for Silverman's assortment. Yeah, let's go to the marketplace then. Walk less. I mean, it's like... 4.30pm now. Still have a little bit of time to do some shopping, I, I imagine. Words, the lost and abiding the people of this holy of city has, after a decades has of happened, imprisonment by a his treacherous son, have been due to its his sheer position glory as grand master by Malfi himself. The esteemed Trakesha. That's gold for Silverman. Uh-huh. You also sell information. Information? What do you mean? Let me see. That's not very much, but fine. A couple of moons ago, I had a really strange guy as a customer. He wore two sabers, like those coal people do, but when he moved, he was really swift about it, like he was some kind of thief. I think he was an assassin, as they call him. 
Quirinian contract um, killers. Yes, of course. You can Four hide twice. within a fortress, but they'll Four find twice. you. Somehow break into your room and yeah. kill you in your sleep. And unlike those everyday scroungers, they know how to wield a sword like Lorem Waterblade did. Who knows? Maybe that'll help you. The art of combat. I mean, do I want to throw my pennies at him? If it gives me quests, sure. What? That wasn't enough? Huh. Let me think. Yeah. There was that wench once. A farmer. She came running into the city as if chased by the Black Guardian and told the guard something about an ambush on her farm. Nothing unusual, you could say, especially nowadays, but apparently the bandits were led by a mage. Huh. And, well, if you can believe that farmer woman, she conjured the sunfire down from the sky. Green fire, lightning, the living dead rising from the ground, a wild mage. In other words, one of those sinistropes. But she also knew elemental magic like the Keepers do. I wouldn't want to come across someone like her. Yeah, she sounds dangerous. No, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you do, right, right. and be quick about it. Um. <laughs> I did want one more rhetoric book. Right. And then also... Uh, oh, I should probably kill sne a skill sneak at some point too. Marksman? Yeah, he only has the master books. What are they? Thousand. Walk. Right, now I've used all crafting points. I just still need to use my learning points, so... I could use them for marksmen, like get them to 50. Get that to 50 first. Or sneak. Sneak allows you to move... M I mean, I was saying that I get... Um, I get seen pretty early by by enemies, and especially with my bonus sneak attack, it might be good to skill this to skill this up further. Uh, especially since it's very cheap still, because it's under 25. Uh, I could get it up to like 24 plus one, at least. Hmm. Maybe. Did you have sneak books? No. Just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need and be quick about it. I only master level, right? Oh, also uh, we we should look at uh, we were supposed to look at his um, at his things, right? For the quest, but what are we looking for? Ironforts loot. Um. Ironfort, was that our quest giver? Let's have another look before we buy it. Yeah. Walk blessing. Uh, yeah. Admiral, who you think you are? But oh no my god, I misclicked. <laughs> uh, I hope I have a save here. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Hear my words, oh, oh Pat, the lighting people of this holy city. Yeah. Information? What do you mean? Hey guys, I'll have to do all this again. And unlike those everyday scroungers, that nothing on you. Green fire, lightning. No, I just put them out for you to look at. Okay, so. Tell me what you need and be quick about it. Rhetoric adapt. Save again, and now buy the loot. 
Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. 63. I can do that, sure. Okay, let's go back and complete that quest real quick before we come back to the market. Where was he at? Madame? Noble citizens of Ark, uh, let oh your God, that voice. Walk blessed. Where you at, buddy? Hmm? That? By Malthus, where did you get that? You didn't buy it from that cutthroat, did you? I did. Please, let me see it. I, I need to know it's real. And why would I keep it for myself? Only if you tell me what this is all about in return. Aye, aye, of course. By the name of the sun, yes, that's hers. And Vera was right. Hmm. I I don't know why you're doing this, but thank you. This really means a lot. What? No, Bella, she was my daughter. She left us one moon's turn and a day ago now. Flesh maggots, she... Uh, a week before we found out, she had met this young man, you know? Oh, you should have seen her. There was so much life in her, so much joy. And then, all of a sudden... No, it just isn't fair. For what it's worth, I've lost a good friend as well not too long ago. You did? I'm sorry to hear that. On the ship? She was a poet, you know? She could play the lute and sing like no other. And she even taught herself how to write. Vera, my companion, and I, we thought she would one day travel through the lands and become a bard. Ah, uh, what am I saying? I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to me grieving. But, in case you want to know how her lute ended up in that bastard's hands, we had debts. And only three weeks after Bella left us, a Duneville caravan that carried a year's load of iron for us got robbed. But of course, neither that nor our loss made any difference to that cutthroat golfer. And he threatened to get me thrown into jail if I wouldn't pay by the first day of Star Summer Night. Ooh. Well, I suppose you can connect the dots for yourself. The loot was precious, and we didn't have a choice. But still, it felt like selling a part of her. And until now, we have nothing left of her, save for the casket. You can keep the loot if you want to. It's a present. Yes, that's very generous of you, really. Thank you. Her treasure chest, that's what she called it. She kept her songs and poems in there, and she would never show anything to anyone unless she considered it perfect. You know how poets are. And now she's gone, and only she knows how to open the casket. But you're a locksmith, aren't you? You should know how to get it open, too. Aye, I should. But the casket was a present I made for her myself, and I made the lock special. It's a complicated mechanism, but, simply put, there are four bolts that need to be pushed in a certain order, and only then will it open. Of course, I could smash it, but who knows what would happen to her things. If I somehow destroyed them, I would never forgive myself. I see, and that inscription, that carving on the back of the loot, that has something to do with how you open the casket, right? Yes, left, right, left, down. Mm. But that's not all. The bolts have to be pushed twelve times. So we're missing eight hints. Do you know if your daughter left more clues about them somewhere else? Aye, I'm quite sure she did. Vera and I have ideas as to where, but at the moment I can't afford to spend a single day without work. Look, you... you were very generous to me. I know it's a lot to ask for, but do you think you could help us find the other hints? Oh, gosh. What's in it for me? I... I don't know. We hardly have anything left, so I cannot pay you. But maybe I could share my knowledge as a craftsman with you. That's and the not Lord bad. Will surely bless you for your generosity. All right. Ah, thank you. I'm not asking this lightly, but you seem like a good fellow, and that is rare these days. Bella loved this book of poetry, The Red Ballads, and there was one particular edition she always rented from the Ark Library. I hardly have any coin left to borrow it, but I'm almost sure she left a hint there. What about the last one? Aye, there was a place Bella always visited when she had spare time. She worked on her poems there, I think. 
It's not far from the harbor. Do you have a map? There. If she left another clue, it must have been there. Thank you. I mean it. I will pray for you. Hmm? Okay. So did we get any XP for that at all? Didn't watch out for that too closely right now. Just now. Okay. Let's go back to the marketplace.